Hello everybody! It's Dana Sullivan, your Stampin' Chick, here with another Make It Monday! <laughs> I'm so happy to be with you today. I hope that you had a fantastic weekend. Here it is, Monday again. And the wonderful thing about Monday is that it's Make It Monday! <laughs> so today's project is actually going to be um, another technique this is one that I have um, known about for a while, but I've kind of been afraid to try it, or maybe I've just been too busy. To be honest with you, I don't really know why I haven't tried this technique before. I just know that, oh my goodness, my mind is blown. <laughs> So, I know that you're wanting to know what the technique is, and I'm dying to share it with you. So, here we go. I want to show you how to take a piece of our um, Stampin' Up! foil paper and turn it into something like this. And... This is called the black ice technique, and maybe you've heard of it before. Other, other people have done it. Um, I've come up with a couple of these projects that I thought I'd share with you. This one is done with the silver foil and um, just the uh, clear embossing powder and Versamark and the black stays on. And then this one, um, let me see if I can get... Not sure if I can get any closer than that, but there you go. Um, this one is gold foil with clear embossing powder, Versamark, and black stays on. And it just gives it a really nice gilded look, you know, just this nice antiqued look. Now, the difference between this one and this one is that um, on this one I actually did the foil as it sits here um, without any embossing first and then this one I embossed first and then ran the ink over and what that does is you can see the lines um, in the embossing that's done on the stays on or uh, with the stays on ink because it's already been embossed so it already had the texture as opposed to just the plain sheet of of paper so we're going to go ahead and get started i'm going to show you how to do this um the first thing i'm going to do is grab my wood planks embossing folder and i'm going to take the copper foil and i'm going to put it in the embossing folder think right about there is good okay and then I'm gonna run this through the big shot right quick and I'll be right back I'm sorry I could and should have embossed that beforehand but you know sometimes you forget things and I'm finding that in my uh, maybe old age <laughs> forgetting things a little more so give me just a second here and I will have this fabulously embossed piece of foil paper for us. Here we go. Okay. And so now I have this beautiful piece of um, wood plank look embossed copper foil paper. And actually all by itself, this is beautiful, isn't it? So, now I'm going to show you what to do with this. The first thing you're going to want to do is get your scratch paper out. And you're going to need the black stays on ink. You're going to need Versamark. You're going to need your clear embossing powder and your tray and then your heat gun. Okay? So, after you've embossed your foil... You want to go ahead and take your stays on ink and you're just going to drag it across the paper like this. And I hope that the camera is picking up all of the detail of the wood planks because it's actually pretty spectacular. Here we go. And it doesn't have to be 
uh, perfect or anything. I've actually found that I can scrape it back and forth and it, it works really well, especially, um, especially with the textured paper. So I really like how it gets nice and deep in the grain of the, um, of the, uh, embossed area so and then if you want a little bit more black on the edges you can just kind of just like you're using your regular black ink kind of rough it up a little bit there we go oh this is looking really pretty <laughs> I am totally and completely in love with this technique. You guys have no idea. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go ahead and hit this with the heat gun right quick just to make things move a little bit faster. So it's going to get loud for just a second. sure that it cools down right quick and then we're going to drag our Versamark across the paper okay and we want to make sure that the Versamark covers the entire thing because this is what's going to hold the clear embossing powder to the paper so we're just gonna drag it along and I'm gonna try really hard to keep my fingers out of this that's the only really tricky part is to make sure that your fingers aren't involved. <laughs> there we go. All right. Oops, hold on now. There we go. All right, now we have a nice, thick, even coverage on here. And we're just going to sprinkle the embossing powder all over. And we're not too worried about missing any of it just yet because we're not going to miss any. And I'm just going to go ahead and dump the rest of my powder in there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, that worked out well, didn't it? <laughs> okay, and then we want to go ahead and tap it down. And then I kind of touched it right there, so let's just do that. Alright, there we go. Okay, now what we're left with is um, embossing powder covering the whole piece. And we're going to get loud again, so let's turn the embossing gun on. And it's going to go relatively quick now because the gun is pretty warm, so... I want to see if you can see the magic happen. Do you see it turning? Isn't that gorgeous? I am absolutely, totally, and completely in love with this technique. Isn't that gorgeous? That is absolutely stunning. Now, I'm not going to worry about the paper being bowed a little bit because as soon as it's cool, I'll let it smooth out a little. Um, and then I'm going to adhere it to a piece of cardstock anyway. So, isn't that very beautiful? I love it. This is actually why my Make It Monday video is so late this week because my downline was here with me this evening and we were playing and lost track of time. Um, this piece here, 
uh, is actually, you notice that the detail is not as pronounced in this one, and that's because I've actually embossed layer upon layer upon layer of um, different embossing colors. So I've used uh, just a little bit of our black, a little gold, a little silver, and of course the clear. So, um, not silver, I'm sorry, copper. <laughs> That's copper. <laughs> I used black, gold, copper, and then the clear. So anyway, that mixed together is what you get. And uh, what's interesting about this paper is that this actually started as the galvanized metal. Isn't that awesome? I love it. All right, friends, I'm going to show you these samples one more time. Here's the gold with the clear um, embossing powder and just a little bit of Versamark and stays on. And I've really enjoyed putting this one together. Um, you'll probably see pictures of this one on Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook. It's really pretty. And then this one I absolutely love. Uh, this is um, Don Griffith's inspired design for a stamp set, and it's absolutely wonderful. And um, on this one, I use silver foil, a lot of black distress, and then um, there's a stamp in this set that has some little speckled background and like um, oil spots or whatever. And so I've taken the stays on and and tapped it around on there and then I went over it with the Versamark and the clear embossing powder so that's how I get these little different designs so anyway there you go folks a quick and simple uh, fabulously awesome tutorial uh, showing you my new favorite technique which is the black ice embossing technique so I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I hope that you try this because I honestly am so sad that I didn't try it sooner. It really is an incredible technique. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.